In process safety design, flame detectors are used to provide early detection so that measures can be taken to limit fire growth and protect personnel. It is clear that an uncontrollable or missed fire causes devastating damage to property, the environment, and loss of life. What is less clear is that a system that's not mapped correctly can result in reduced coverage or false alarms that may lead to shutdowns and lost revenue. How do I determine how many flame detectors are needed to protect my facility? We start by needing some basic information, like which design standards to use, how large is my fire zone, and what can influence it, what are the fire hazards, and what detection technology should I select? How do I account for the impact the environment and process have on flame detector performance? What else determines how many flame detectors I need? How do I carry out a flame detection mapping assessment? Step 1. We must review all the hazardous process areas and assign a risk grade to each piece of process equipment. Step 2. Depending on the expected fire type, size, and escalation potential, risk grades are applied to the process equipment. This stage is referred to as setting the performance targets. Step 3. The designer then applies flame detectors in optimal positions considering the principle of operation, accessibility, and based on the unique characteristics of the flame detector being assessed. Parameters such as sensitivity, field of view, and robustness to environmental and operation conditions are key to develop a good design. This also means that flame detector designs are unique to the device being mapped. Step 4. The detector coverage is assessed, ensuring it meets the performance target whilst analyzing the risk to determine whether the design is adequate. A robust flame detection mapping study gives peace of mind in ensuring your people, plant, and reputation are protected. Micropack's trusted advisors are here to help if you require fire and gas detection mapping assistance.